Hi all, I'm taking a, a really good course in uh, Python REST APIs, um, this particular one here. Uh, it's an excellent course. <clears throat> and I completed uh, his other course on uh, Flask development, web Flask development with Python. And that was like a 27 hour course, great course. And this one is, is, is focusing on REST APIs. It's a, this is yet another very good course and um, learning a lot. Um, when you take the course, uh, there's a you'll be building a REST API, and um, in one of his sections here, he you know actually talks about securing your REST API so that you can use uh, Secure Sockets Layer, and um, you know he shows you how to set up a Cloudflare account um, and how to buy your own DNS. Um, you know, so I went through those exercises, but in my case. Uh, I have a domain that I purchased with Amazon um, AWS with my account, and I thought about, well, how can I, uh, you know, how can I use my uh, domain that I bought through Amazon, and also um, how can I bypass, you know, how can I do it alternatively so I don't have to use Cloudflare to set up my uh, certificate and such. Um, <clears throat> with AWS, since uh, like if you go to my Route 53, what I ended up doing is, um, well, first of all, I have uh, droplets in DigitalOcean. Um, so if I go to my, uh, let's see here, if I go to my droplets tab, first of all, you know, you'll need a DigitalOcean account, or it doesn't really matter, or you can create an EC2 instance in the cloud. But as you can see, I've got a Ubuntu instance, and I called it REST API Course Trial TDK. Um, when you create the dot droplet with uh, DigitalOcean, I was using Ubuntu uh, version, uh, basically one of the older versions, the 16.04.6, just to be in tune with the course. But you can also use 18 or the latest too. It doesn't really matter. But you get an IP address. So I thought, well, um, let's go ahead and see what we can do as an alternative. So what you can do is use uh, Let's Encrypt and I went through the process. I'm going to go ahead and, and set up a link, but you can also, um, you know, use Let's Encrypt with uh, the version 18 as well. So I'll send you a link to this, but there's also one for Ubuntu version 18. And this works beautifully. So like after, I'm not going to really go through all the steps, but I'm actually on my uh, DigitalOcean Droplet account right here. But to make a long story short, after you set up your account, um, in DigitalOcean and create a droplet and install all the required packages and install Nginx, which, which you'll do. <clears throat> what I ended up doing, um, going through the instructions, is basically modifying my default uh, server name in the uh, Nginx configuration um, for the site itself. So you have to set it to your domain. Um, and then you just basically run a sequence of commands. So since I already ran it, um, you know, the website, if you follow the website that I'll include, it shows the instructions. But basically, I ended up updating the uh, items rest conference file for Nginx. Um, you'll have to add, you know, these are the commands. You'll have to add, uh, add an app to the cert box. Uh, you'll have to do another update. And then you can run these commands in this particular order. Um, this one I was just double checking the default Nginx configuration. I didn't really mean to make any changes to that since I had pointed the website to use this one instead. Um, and checking the firewall. So turning on Nginx full, so you get the uh, full blown um, SSL into the firewall and then you use CertBox basically to update your Nginx configuration with these parameters and um, Really, the long and short of it is uh, that's pretty much it. You'll get prompted from Let's Encrypt. And the end result basically is here's the actual website. So I've got Postman um, right now. So if you look in Postman, the URL, um, I have it pointing to HTTPS here on the right where it's at the current value. So that's one of our environment variables. So Every one of these up here in Postman is using the URL configuration item, which is pointing to HTTPS. So just to basically prove that this is working, I can reach out through HTTPS to 
the server that's running on this box, which is the API for this given course, um, not here. Uh, it's the API for the uh, Udeme course right here. And so I'm able to call the uh, authorization endpoint. Um, and then, you know, I can traverse all the items. I only have one here. I'm just running tests. I can look at the stores. All of this is going through HTTPS now. And as you can see in, in the application itself, um, even though it's set to Heroku, we went ahead and deployed this over to DigitalOcean. It's actually calling these endpoints uh, properly. So if we go to the resources, um, so you can, it's actually calling the store endpoint. It's calling the, uh, the items endpoint, which we have right here, making sure that you've got your author authorization token, making sure that you're authenticated so that you don't get the uh, 401. So that's just a bypass or that's a side note. But the key though is if um, you can see, we're able to make these calls. And if you follow these instructions, if you take this excellent course and you wanna learn an alternative way to um, communicate or install a certificate on your box, if you, especially if you don't wanna go to like Namecheap or some other, uh, you know, registrar, DNS registrar to get your own domain name. If you have an existing one, you know, you can explore using your current one. So again, what I ended up doing is creating an AWS, creating some A records um, right here with these domains and pointing the IP address right here to my digital o ocean droplet um, in order to have traffic redirected over to that. Um, I can't really use ACM, the certificate manager for Amazon, because um, that would require a private certificate. You know, so in other words, if you wanted to install a certificate in front of your load balancer um, inside of AWS, or if you have a Kubernetes uh, ingress controller using COPS, you know, then you could use ACM that way to secure your incoming traffic, you know, so you would actually have your uh, SSL terminated right there at that point. But since this is external and it's, you know, basically a domain that I bought on AWS and I just wanted to have it point way over to digital ocean, uh, you know, that's, you got to create uh, a public, you know, uh, you have to basically create a public uh, A record or hosted zone there and, you know, use something like Let's Encrypt if you don't want to use Cloudflare. So hope this helps. I'll include a link to the, uh, the site if you follow the instructions. I pretty much guarantee it'll work for you. And if you have Ubuntu version 18, that'll work for you as well. So thanks for watching and uh, take care.